numbers are 186, 254, 310. As you can probably tell, that's a slash line. That is not a slash line for the last 13 games of a Chicago White Sox. That is the slash line of the, for the last 13 games of the Chicago White Sox. All of them. They're hitting 186, 254, 310 as a team. Um, the offense is just wilted in mass. And, uh, you know, they're on a seven-game losing streak. They, uh, they're they averaging, you know, 3.8 runs per game, which is better than Detroit, but still sucks. And they're 1-9 in, in their last 10 games. So the White Sox, uh, you know, I made the comment the other day, Tony La Russa's back somewhere. You know, he's thinking, hey, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> and uh, they are really struggling. And, you know, for a team that has some A-list talent uh, at certain parts of their lineup, and their rotation, it's not coming together. It's very surprising. So, and their offense is at the center of it. We were talking about this on the last pod about like their GM getting another rebuild. To me, this, you know, them trying to compete per se, they haven't won one playoff series in this era of trying to compete. They lost in first round 2020 and they lost in the first round in 2021. So if this is the end of their competitive window and they go into like a retool or a rebuild, I, I can't see their GM getting another shot, another rebuild, because it was a failure. They didn't win a single playoff series, and they had expectations to win a World Series. Clockwork. You could expect the White Sox to fall apart. It's as simple as that. I'm not surprised. Go ahead, Chris. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and to your point, um, you know, I've been thinking about this in, in within the context of Eduardo Rodriguez, that uh, the White Sox, you know, if they fall out of it for sure and not competing, they're going to trade, they'll probably trade Tim Anderson, probably trade Lucas Giolito, probably trade Lance Lynn. Would they trade Dylan Cease? If they did, he'd probably get them a King's ransom. Like yeah. they could, they could be one of those things where once again, they suddenly go from, you know, a middling to bad MLB team to a terrible MLB team, but suddenly a top 10 farm system again. And then here we are five years later and they're in they're you know, rebuilding for the fourth time. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, it, I've seen the White Sox do this before too. And then they'll kind of, claw their way back up to 500 and people will be like, Oh, maybe they've got a chance. And then, you know, around the all-star game, they'll start to fall apart again. It's just yeah. the way it goes. So yeah, it's, yeah, so I don't feel terribly bad for them. 